Hello and welcome to Talk It Sports with Kids. I'm Xander Eklund. And I'm Han Kim. Boy, do we have a lot of cover on today's show. First, we take a trip to Olympia's Yacht Club and meet some regatta winners and learn the ins and outs of sailing. Next, we have three in-depth interviews. We meet Martino Ribeiro, a top marathoner and soccer coach. Then, Mara Briggs, a wrestler, and Peter Casting, who runs cross country and cycles. Let's take a look at our special report on the Olympia Yacht Club and meet some trainers and staff that taught us a few things about sailing. My name is Aspen and I'm here at the Yacht Club interviewing Eric. Um, my first question is, um, uh, what do you do at the, here at the Yacht Club? Here at the Yacht Club, I coach, I teach kids how to sail, and make sure everything runs smoothly. Uh, second, um, uh, how, how many classes have you taught of kids, taught of kids? How many individual classes? Probably too many to count. Um, but I have been teaching since, um, since I was about 13. I started uh, junior instructing and um, now I'm 24, um, so it's been quite a while. Um, ha have you ever raced? Yes, I have raced. Uh, what's your favorite um, racing boat and why? Uh, my, my favorite general type of racing boats are, are larger, um, like schooners, really big wooden, old wooden ships that um, it just takes a lot of people to make them work and I think that the that the teamwork that is needed to race such a vessel is uh, just a, an awesome learning experience for everyone involved. Have you ever gotten any medals or trophies? Um, one or two. Um, have you ever capsized in a race? Many times. Um, well, that wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Aspen Kate Stolio, and this is Eric Brown. You've been watching TSWK. Hi, my name is Malcolm Maribachtel, and I'm here interviewing with Alex. Um, so, Alex, what's it like working here at the Yacht Club? You know, it's really fun. I love it. It's a great summer job. I get to spend all day out on the water with these kids, uh, teaching them to sail, which is something that I've grown up doing, and it's one of my passions. So I just I love being able to share that with everyone. Interesting. So have you ever been in any races? Yeah, I, I started racing when I was about 10 in Optimus Dinghies, and I've gone up through it, and I'm now racing in college on the East Coast. Uh, it's I. That's also very fun. There's a really great community out here in the Pacific Northwest for youth racing. Uh, just everybody's very nice and helpful, and it's really, really easy to get into if you're looking into doing that. Um, have you ever won any, any of those races? And if so, did you win any medals or prizes? Yeah, I've, I've won a, my share of regattas, um, and you get, you know, I have, I have a little collection of medals, which is, is really fun. Um, and in college, not so much now, but, you know, it's still fun whether you're winning or losing. It's just a great, great time. So how long have you been teaching here at the Yacht Club? Hmm. Well, I've been helping out since I was about 14, but this is my fourth year technically being a coach. Well, that's it. I'm Malcolm Meyerbach, and I'm here interviewing with Alex on TSWK. And I am here with Ezra Boyer. So, Ezra, are, have you raced? Yes, I joined the sailing team, the Olympia Yacht Club High School sailing team, two years ago. So I have four seasons of sailing, and we do racing in the high school team. So I've done this for, for two years, racing. Yep. So... 
in in your races, have you won any medals? Well, they don't give out medals in in sailing teams. They give out giant trophies. But I haven't won any trophies because high school regattas are are really small. So. So, have you? What what do you do here at the yacht club? Right now, I'm a summer sailing instructor. So, I teach kids like you how to sail in little boats over there. It's really fun. How many classes have you teached here at the yacht club? Well, we have. Um, last year, I did probably more than 200 kids went through our program, and this year we're looking at about the same number. So each week we go through classes of about 12 to to like 15 kids in the morning and the afternoon, and I've teached for these past two summers, so a lot. How long have you been at the yacht club? Well. I joined two years ago when I started racing via the high school sailing team, and so I've been at the Yacht Club for two years. This was Miles at the Olympia Yacht Club. Thank you for watching TSW. Thanks for that special report. Earlier we had in the studios a number of talented athletes. Let's meet our first. Peter Kesting is a track and field runner and cycling enthusiast. I'm Aspen and I'm interviewing Peter Kesting with my friend Ansel. Um, first, my first question is, um, what's your name? Um, Peter Kesting. And, um, how old are you? I just turned 18 and I'm going into my senior year at Olympia High School. Um, how, um, what sports do you play? Um, in the fall I do uh, cross country and then in the track, uh, or on, in the spring I'll do um, track and um, fields and so, and then in the summer I'll do a lot of like mountain climbing and stuff like that. Just try to be it out, as outdoorsy as possible. Um, what's the favorite sport, what's your favorite sport that you play? Um, probably cross country. I, I love the, the teamwork involved and just, you know, it's pretty clear like how much work you put in, the, the better you get and it's a good sport. Um, we heard that you bike. Is this a true fact or a <laughs> lie? Uh, I don't usually bike, but yeah, like, I went on that this um, three-week bike trip. So, but prior to that, I don't really have that much biking experience. Have you gotten any um, medals or trophies in cross country or track? Um, yeah, I got. Um, First in districts, so um, got a medal for that, and then some like other invites. Like if you get like top three, you'll get um, some medals, or usually top eight gets some ribbons and stuff. So gotten a couple of those. Have you won any? Like, have you won any races? Um, yeah. So this spring, I won the um, 1600 meters in uh, the mile at districts, which districts is like um, right before state, so it goes league, districts, and state. And so, unfortunately I got sick the week before state, and so I couldn't really run in state, but it happens. Hey, at least you got to state. Yeah, exactly, so. Um, what's, what's your, um, what do you run in track and field? Um, track and field, um, I'll run like the four by four, and, um, also, like 800, and then mile is kind of my main event. And then uh, hopefully next year I can kind of throw in the two mile a little bit. Maybe mess around with like kind of like some of the sprints a little bit, maybe. We'll see. Um, have you ever, like, um, what's your favorite one? What's your favorite um, um, track and field event 
and why? Um, probably the, the 1600 meters, just because it's so simple and so even, and it's just, you know, four equal laps, and um, it's just like the perfect distance and time, and um, plus, like, the mile's got a lot of history to it, and so just a good race, good race to watch, too. Is the 4x4 four four, um, a, um, is that the 1600 or is that a relay? 4x4 uh, four four is like, you have four runners um, and then you each run one lap, so 400 meters. And so total, yeah, it equals 1600 meters. Um, and that's really fun because you just kind of bond with your 4x4 four four teammates and you know, trying to win stuff together and it's pretty cool. So is it a lot of teamwork in the 4x4? Four four? Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, especially with like hands off, handoffs and stuff. Um, like if you don't get that handoff right, you know, you might uh, drop it. And in that case, you'll be disqualified. Or um, just like training together, doing workouts. You definitely bond over that. And yeah, it definitely takes a lot of teamwork. Um, did you play any sports uh, when you were younger, or uh, did you yeah. usually stick with track and field? And um, when I was younger, country? I kind of messed around with a lot of sports. Like, um, I rode horses, and um, I did. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did do cross country, but um, like I rode horses a lot, and let's see what else. Um, yeah, soccer, baseball, um, a little bit of basketball, but, um, and then, yeah, those are the main ones. I guess I did, and I did a little gymnastics, and, but, and I kind of found out running through probably like middle school, and then just kept with it since I loved it so much. What's your greatest accomplishment? accomplishment in running um, or cycling really or, yeah probably in sports let's see basically. running probably um, getting the school record in the 1600 meters um, previously it was um, four minutes and 14 seconds and I got it down to four minutes and 11 seconds so shaved off a decent amount of time and um, hopefully that record stays for a while but we'll see do you know who used to have the record? Um, yeah, a guy named Nate Brennan. Um, I think he said it in like 2011. Yeah, 2000. Yeah, 2011. And um, I think before that, it had been like 10 years since anyone broke it or something. So, but yeah, he went on to run in uh, Columbia, and so he was a pretty successful runner. He also has a two-mile record at 9:02. So. Have you ever heard of um, a guy, a guy named um, Brian Barnes? He has a record. Oh yeah. Um, doesn't he have the? Um, plays on my soccer team. So. Oh, okay. Brian Barnes. Who's that again? Um, I think he has a record in. Oh, cross country. Probably. I think, I think he is like um, the top cross country finish or something, and like fifth, yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Well, I think that wraps it up. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Aspen Kate Dolio with Ansel Strass Reeves and um, and uh, Peter Kesting. All right. Thanks, guys. It's been, it's been good. Thanks, Ansel and Aspen. Now let's meet Mara Briggs, a champion wrestler. Hello, I'm Malcolm Marabakto, and I'm here with Mara Briggs on TSWK. Um, so, Mara, uh, I hear that you're you are a high school wrestler. What what was it like to wrestle? Well, wrestling was a very very fun sport. Um, it still is one of my one of my favorite sports, and it's hard. It's awesome because it's so physically challenging, but it's also so much fun. Um. What is one of your greatest achievements that you've ever done in wrestling before? Well, um, one of my greatest achievements is I was able to get to state in wrestling in my senior year. My senior year was like my hardest year to, to wrestle because 
we had a change in change in coaches. Our our old coach for who had been like there for 40 years or so had retired, and we got whole new coaches in. And yeah, it was a little bit of a little bit of a mess that first year with new coaches. And through, but through all that, I was able to work hard and I got to state. Um, that's very nice. Uh, so what got you started into doing this? Well, to tell you the truth, I got started in wrestling during my during my sophomore year of high school when I just was like, well, I need one more sport in order to skip having PE. Um, and I remembered how my dad, when I was really, really little, he used to wrestle with me all the time because my dad was also a high school wrestler. And so um, I was like, well, wrestling doesn't seem too bad. And so I joined the wrestling team. Um, so... Have you won like any awards in wrestling before kind of? Um I have won I've won so, quite a few tur um tournament like prizes, but I had um but I, and but I didn't ever rank in state. So So yeah, I've won quite I've won several small tournament prizes, but I haven't ever won a really large um award. Um are you on a special team? Um, no, I was just on the Olympia High School team. I was on the girls team, but the girls team and the guys team at Olympia High are kind of, um, mixed together. They're not really separate so, so much, because there's only, th when I last, in my last year, there was only three girls in the team, so. How many boys were there? There was about 40 boys. <laughs> um... What do you do in like your spare time, like hobbies or anything? In my spare time, I like drawing, I like art. I'm going to college actually to be an animator, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So what goes through your mind when you're wrestling? Well, when I'm wrestling, it's very, when I'm wrestling, it's not very much actual thoughts. It's more of a uh, <laughs> general sound. <laughs> Um, but before wrestling is before you go step on the wrestling mat is when you really have to you know psych yourself up. You gotta get ready, get mentally prepared. Wrestling is a sport that is ninety percent um, ninety percent mental, and the rest and ten percent is physical. Um, so yeah, oftentimes me and my dad would be sitting in the stands and we'd just you know get ready and get psyching ourselves and up and building up for the next match. And how are you doing that? Um, well, t tell the truth, it's kind of dorky. We'd sit there and we'd try and find really, really good songs to psych ourselves up. Like, we'd listen to stuff like Through the Fire and Flames, um, the Pokemon theme song, <laughs> <laughs> um, just anything like really fast. We'd also, you know, sit there and talk about um, just stuff that we enjoyed, you know. Um, We'd make up funny quotes that we would say on, t like, to get ready for. We'd make up battle cries. It was it was silly. Um, how many times have you won? Um, I don't have my actual stats. Remember, I'm 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 horrible at keeping keeping track of my own of my own stats. But during my during my freshman year, I won about I won about twenty five percent of the time and lost 70% of the time. <laughs> and then my next year, it was about 50-50. Then my senior year, it was back to like 75, 25 again. <laughs> because senior year gets a lot harder, so. Um, uh, well, how old are you right now? Um, I'm 19, and I'll, I'll be turning 20 this November, so. Well, that, that wraps it up. I'm Malcolm Marbachto, and this is my, my, Mara Briggs at, here on TSWK. Now let's meet Martino Rubio, a marathon runner. Hi, I'm Gabriel Kane, and this is Martino... Hebero. Hebero. I'm, to start, I'm going to ask some questions. 
How long have you been running? I've been running basically all my life. Because I was born in a nice place to run, is in, in Copacabana Beach, and there we have a lot of, lot of room to run. Then I still run till today. And before I run just for pleasure, just for fun, but now I, I run after in 2002, I start to run for compete because I got invited from my neighbors. And I have no idea how fun is uh, when we run around the, the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, like I run before too, or just 200. It's a lot of fun run with people and have some go, compete. And this, uh, this uh, is a good point, a good point when you run for compete. But basically, I run all my life. What what got you started running? Uh, I like it. I always I'm I like I like sports, any kind of sports, and I I play I play like I said I I, I love to play soccer and the soccer required we run. Then we I start to play soccer in in sand. The same, the same place I, I grew up, and from there to enjoy run for nothing or, or run for soccer, uh, they start. This is why I, I did. I, I like run. This is uh, inside me. Have you participated in any races? If, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, a lot. I have, uh, I don't know, 300, but uh, and uh, uh, marathon so far, I just have a four. And that's the, that's the top one. It's not easy. It's also, you need to be prepared physically and mentally, or, or you're done. And in my last run, my last marathon I did it last month, I qualified for the Runner Super Bowl, we call Boston Marathon. But I did it. I have a lot of trophies and medals and a lot of things for run. And uh, maybe if I'm in a run, 300 plus races. What pumps you up before you start in a, a race? Oh, if a short race is a, is a, is a funny but different. If a short race, like a 5K, we need to pump more. Like uh, I, I usually do a mile warm up, then I do, I do a few reps. If I have a hill close, I can do my, my reps on the hill because uh, I don't need to run faster because, uh, the, the, because we go up a hill, you, your heart beat already pump more. And, uh, but if you don't have a run, run or a race uh, hill, we have to do a few sprints. But this I do in short runs. I take, I do my reps. And the longer runs, I just stretch a little bit and I run a quarter of a mile or half a mile only because uh, I used to not take off too faster in the longer runs because uh, it's a lot like a car, you need to warm up. Then if uh, you take faster, on the very first or second, third mile, we don't have a gas for the end. Then we had a lot of people pass it, or the people don't have a lot of experience, and they just take off, and the three miles close or something, they start to slow down, and we, we pass them. This is what I do. Depend the race. What goes through your mind when you run a marathon? Oh, this is a good, good question. Uh, a lot of people different. I try. I try to be uh, concentrate, focus, but in the other way, I try to see everything around for the distract myself, the, the crazy things you do, run 26.2, no stops. Then I do, I walk in, I look for good things, uh, concentrating the front, of course, but I try to I try be, try be more distracted the, the things around. And never, never lost the concentration in my, in my brain, in my mind. I'm running a marathon. I need to keep my pace. The, because when you go run a marathon, you already training for, or you don't do it. And when we train for, we know our, the pace we train for. And I try to keep, keep it up the same pace, too. I cannot, make a, I, I cannot uh, do my, my training van. Like, a, I'm not ready anymore because that, Close to, close to the finish, we don't have a gas. And I try looking for the trees. I see people pass by. I see the other runs, the other runners, uh, striders, things like that. I try, I try look around, but never, never lost my focus. I run a marathon.
How many medals have you won? Uh, well, I, uh, I, I bring a few over here. But I, I, have a, I have a wall. I have a wall that's uh, completely full. And I, I need to start to think about uh, put more. I have, a, I have a few over here like this. I have a trophies and these things. This, uh, this is what we, we run for. We run for this, for the fun, and for the a lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, I have a model over here, but I don't take off. And this is why they run for the medals. And the big ones are nice because they, they, there's a full marathon I did, and they, they run a full marathon. And I can put it because it's not every race to give a medal. Some race to give a, a, just a little piece of thing said, uh, Congratulations, first, first place in your age group and time. But so the race, they give a medal, they give a trophy. That's the, this year for my Grand Prix. I take in first my age group. I love them. I give a free entry for the Tacoma City Marathon and a free pair of shoes. That's good. This is a, a, lot of, a lot of good money. And, but uh, I have a lot of medals too. I just, uh, I hang in my wall. Would you ever run a triathlon? Not yet, but this is my go-to. Uh, I, I just buy a stationary bike. It was nice talking to you. Thank you nice for your time. Nice talking to you. Thank you very much. That, that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching TSWK.